looks like we're the only ones on the bus today. So we are the king and the queen of the bus. So travelers, we are back on the bus at Fort Wilderness and we are heading on back down to Trails Inn for breakfast this morning. So come along, let's see what they got to offer us. And remember, when you're on the buses and monorails, you still have to wear your facial covering. Travelers, this is something we've never noticed, so we must be on a newer bus. But they got USB ports underneath all the seats right here. Well, good morning, travelers. We have made our way back over to Disney's Wilderness Campground, and we're coming back over here to Trails End. And this morning, we are going to try the lunch, the breakfast offerings. So come along. Let's see what Trails End has to offer us for breakfast this morning. That's a big boy right there. This is red. Red. He's one of four Belgians that we have. Okay. This is a new feature that they added with the, um, these used to be over in the old location, but now this is like a museum, museum type walls and they have a ongoing video that they now play. And the types of horses that are here at the ranch, which there's more than likely briars. My daughter Becca has a ton of briar horses. And then of course, the pipe organ wagon. And that's what the team looks like when they pull it. He's a pretty big boy though. Check out Grady. And he is a Percheron. Hello Grady. And this is Obi and Patches. The little Cinderella. Oh, look how cute they are. By the way, on Obi and Patches right here, um, Obi is the white one and Patches, of course, is this one. But Patches is Obi's little baby pony. That is her son. This is a Calliope. It is Walt Disney and sometimes they will bring it back on special occasions and maybe hopefully we'll see it for the 50th celebration. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Now this is Rookie right here. He's not as big. He is a Clydesdale, not as big as a Percheron. But I will give you a little info guys. This, this is Michelle's and Becca's favorite animals. They absolutely love horses. Michelle, as a kid, rode and had horses, and they, I know it sounds weird, but they just love the smell of being in a barn and around horses. So here are the ponies for today's ride. We have Fancy, Leo, Vader, and Teddy. One of them must be out working right now, but the other ones are here taking a little snack. And this is where you bring your little ones for the pony rides here at Wilderness Campground. The rules and regulations for the pony rides. And this is the little walking path that they take the little ones on. Actually a nice size. It looks a little bit bigger than the old one that they had across the street. They have little stands that they pull the ponies up to and the little kids get on. So that's really nice. Okay, so this is the little riding area and the parents do escort the children around. And you can purchase one or two laps when doing the laps around the pony rides. Okay, traveling family, we have made it into Trails Inn for breakfast this morning. Um, our reservation was at 1045 and we sat down promptly at 1120. Um, Teresa and her family, there's Michelle's Coke right there. No Pioneer juice today. Michelle was going to try it. No Pioneer juice today. So, uh, Teresa had warned us during breakfast they were a little, little behind in reservations. 
and we waited about 35 minutes after our reservation. But with us, it was not a big deal today. Okay, travelers, our first course has arrived, and it is a bread basket. Right here is the bread basket, as you can see. It actually looks really good. Right there, um, that is a honey, I mean, that is a strawberry with butter. Right there. And then we have sticky buns, we got a multi-grain croissant, a regular croissant, and blueberry muffins down in the bottom down there. But we're gonna give this a try. So there's our sticky buns right there, nice and warm, and they just dropped off the strawberry yogurt with fresh fruit and homemade granola on top of the strawberry yogurt. So we'll give that a try. I don't want to try this first. That looks really good. It sounded like you said, I have coffee for you. <laughs> no coffee. <laughs> yeah. Do they serve coffee? Yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's our... Well, of course they do, but they didn't say anything about it. Anyway. Have you tried that yet? No. That's... That's really good. So far, Trails End has been killing the bread services for breakfast and for dinner. So, so far. This, this could possibly be a reorder item. Our next try will be the mini blueberry muffins right there. Oh, they got a little crumble on top of them. Full of blueberries. You can see them all through there. Nice and warm. It's all nice and warm. It's not cold. It's nice. That is very good, but I'm going to try it with some strawberry butter. I'm going to try it with a little bit of the strawberry butter. Mm, I can't really taste the butter, the strawberry. Maybe it's too subtle because I had it on the blueberry. Maybe that's it, but I'm I'm with Michelle. Really can't taste a strong hint of strawberry in there at all. But it's nice and spreadable, nice and room temperature, which is the way I love my butter. So very good bread service, and I'm gonna try a little yogurt. Here is our strawberry yogurt with the fresh fruit and house-made granola right there. Looks really good. It's got, we got blackberries, strawberries, and raspberries on our yogurt today. So we got a little bit of that yogurt with that big strawberry and the whole house-made granola right there. Mm. That's really good. Travelers, I just, we would like to thank some travelers out there. We had... I had Teresa stop by my work the other day, and she actually brought me an agave straw from Joffrey's that now has agave straws, and I used it that day at work for my drink down in the cafeteria. But recently, me and Michelle received two packages in the mail, and they were more agave straws. So today's agave straws are sponsored by Toby and Nikki, and Hector and Kathy. So we have agave straws this morning, no paper straws, from some fantastic fellow travelers. So thank you so much, guys, for sending us the agave straws. And as you can see, we're getting ready to use them because today I got sweet tea and Michelle got a Coke today. So thank you very much and once again. it's not a joke. Do a little bit of research, but agave is better for the environment yes. than plastic or paper. Exactly. So they are better. See, and they look better, and they taste better, and then they don't break apart. And there's Michelle's right there. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so much better. So much better than paper straws. Oh, what a great breakfast so far. Okay, the main course has arrived. And here it is. Mm. Of course, Mickey waffles, um, cheesy potatoes. We got some sausage and bacon there. And we have scrambled eggs right there. The scrambled eggs actually come with the beef brisket that they cook for dinner service. There's actually chunks of beef brisket in the scrambled eggs. So we cannot wait to give this a try. Oh, travelers, our skillets today, the Trails End Breakfast, um, family style breakfast, 
is oven fresh pastry baskets, which we had the mini muffins, the whole grain, and butter croissant, and sticky buns with strawberry honey butter. Then we had the berry granola with yogurt and parfait. So the, um, the yogurt sometimes can change different flavors, but today we had strawberry. And then we got the breakfast skillet, which is smoked brisket and eggs, Mickey waffles, bacon, sausage, and cheesy potato casserole served with table syrup. And just to let you know, once again, since it's family style, it's all you care to die in. So if there's anything else we want, we can get, which, I already ordered more sticky buns, and Michelle got one more croissant to eat with her breakfast. They also have a trails and plant-based family style. Uh, the pastry basket with strawberry spread, a lemon blueberry trifle. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds delightful. And then the brisket skillet is just eggs, seatine bacon, potato barrels, Mickey waffles, and table syrup. And that is for the plant-based family style dinner. So they do offer that also here. Um, any other allergies or anything like that, make sure you tell the server and they will have the chefs come out to make sure everything's okay. Michelle is, she is just so sweet to me. So while I was reading the description of the menu, she went ahead and made me a plate. Look at that. She is just so sweet. I tell you guys. Oh, she gave me two Mickey Waffles. Now I got two Mickey Waffles. Who doesn't love a Mickey Waffle? Right there. We don't have any regular butter, so I'm gonna put strawberry butter on my Mickey Waffles. Because my Mickey Waffles got a little strawberry and syrup. And yes, I know I'm holding it with my fingers, but we're gonna give this a try. Mm. Okay, these strawberry, uh, these Mickey Waffles, are actually nice and light and night and nice and airy. Very nice crispy crust on the outside. The strawberry butter really goes good with it. Sometimes you can get Mickey waffles that are a little doughy. <laughs> but these are really good today. So these are fantastic. Well, we're gonna try the eggs because you recommended them. And there's the scrambled eggs with that brisket right there. Oh that's so good. When you have dinner here at night and eat that brisket, you'll understand these eggs. These are quite delightful. Of course, I'm a bacon lover, so I do miss the buffet because of the bacon. Okay, they brought us a little cup of barbecue sauce. And there are people out there that eat ketchup on their eggs. Yes, I am one of them, and my potatoes, fried potatoes at that. And so is Michelle. She actually got me started on the ketchup on my eggs. So I'm gonna put some of that barbecue sauce on my eggs. We're gonna see how that is. I would not eat if they took away Coke and ketchup. I'd be like skinny. <laughs> Here we go, a little bit there. Okay, if you can. Make sure you get some of this for your eggs, because it is really good. Mm -hmm. I will have to say the eggs aren't a firm egg, because it is cooked with that brisket that has a little bit of fat in there. They're going to be a little softer egg, so, but they're really good. I really enjoy these eggs. Now we have the potato casserole right here, so we're going to give this a try. Mm. Basic potato casserole. Nice and cheesy, peppery. Um, it's shredded and chunky potatoes, which is a little different, but pretty basic, but very good. Travelers were wrapping everything up, going over the mill. Um, we never mentioned the price, but this is $19.99 for the All You Care to Dine skillet for breakfast, and that does include drinks. And by the way, once again, thank you for the Agave Straws, guys. We really do appreciate them. Remember also when you're coming here to Trails Inn, it does take a little time. So if you're coming from the Magic Kingdom, you gotta ride a boat over. Or if you're coming by bus, you gotta catch a bus at the front of Wilderness Campground to get back here. So give yourself a little more travel time when coming here. It's a very laid back atmosphere, very great. Everything was really good. Highlights, I still like the potato, brisket potatoes with the 
chipotle barbecue sauce. And these little suckers right here. One of my favorites. Michelle loved the croissants. And I love the sticky bun. So all in all, we had a great time here today at Trails Inn Breakfast, family style dinner. And until next time, travelers, travel and adventure is out there. I hate that they ruined the view of this restaurant because they were getting ready to build a new um, resort and that has been canceled. And now all you get to look out, they used to have a nice lake view, but now we get to look at the scrims of the woods. At least the scrims are, they look like pictures of the woods.